Good morning and welcome. Today, the United States Army, Military District of Washington, represented by the soldiers of the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, and the United States Army Band, Pershing Zone, pay a special tribute to Major General Clement S. Coward Jr., who is retiring after 34 years of distinguished service to the United States Army and our nation. Participating in today's review, from left to right, is the United States Army Band, Pershing Zone, formed in 1922 by then Army Chief of Staff, General John J. Pershing. The United States Army Band is the premier band of our senior service. Pershing Zone provides musical support for ceremonies and special events in our nation's capital and throughout the United States. The United States Army Band is under the direction of Major Aaron Morris and led by Drum Major Rob Moore. Elements of the Old Guard include Bravo Company, commanded by Captain Ian McKnight, and led by First Sergeant Cody Marthaler. Next on line is Charlie Company, commanded by Captain Tony Galati, and led by Specialist Bruce Henderson. Next on line is Honor Guard Company, commanded by First Lieutenant Robert Nishore and led by Sergeant First Class Andrew J. Following is the Commander-in-Chief's Guard, patterned after the unit created by General George Washington in 1976 to be his personal guard. The Commander-in-Chief's Guard is commanded by First Lieutenant Thomas Montano and led by Staff Sergeant Joseph Talnagi. The last element online, dressed in the Continental Musician's uniform, is the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps. During the American Revolution, musicians wore the reverse colors of their parent infantry unit. The men and women of the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps maintain this tradition by wearing red coats instead of the infantry blue. The Corps is led today by Drum Major John Parks. Ladies and gentlemen, moving into position is the commander of troops for today's ceremony, Lieutenant Colonel Michael R. Thompson, Commander, 4th Battalion, 3rd United States Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. Since the days of the American Revolution, the colors have been one of the most important elements of a military unit. Therefore, taking the center of our formation in just a moment and bearing the national color is the nation's foremost color team. The 3rd Infantry's Continental Color Guard, led by Staff Sergeant David Weston. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the advancing of the colors.
Order. Please be seated. The history of the 3rd United States Infantry Regiment reflects the growth and development of our nation. 52 well-earned campaign streamers, 2 valorous unit awards, 5 meritorious unit commendations, and 5 superior unit awards attest to the Old Guard's record of bravery in action and achievements during peacetime. In 1922, the War Department granted permission for the Old Guard to pass in review with bayonets fixed. The Old Guard will now fix bayonets to the traditional beat of the drum. Ladies and gentlemen, taking the reviewing stand is the reviewing official for today's ceremony, Major General Clement S. Coward, Jr., accompanied by the host, Major General Alan M. Pepin, Commanding General, United States Army, Military District of Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as honors are rendered.
Please be seated.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the advancing of the colors and remain standing for the United States National Anthem. Please be seated. At this time, Major General Pepin is making his way down to the floor to honor the retiree. Headquarters Department of the Army Special Orders. By order of the Secretary of the Army, the following general officer is retired. Major General Clement S. Coward, Jr. We are proud to recognize Major General Coward's devotion to our country and we wish him happiness and prosperity in his well-earned retirement.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the posting of the colors. Post the colors! Stand right face. Please be seated. Shoulder. Right. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Army Song! The United States Army is honored to have presented today's special ceremony. Thank you for attending, and enjoy the rest of your day.